be there for me. So hopefully you can have them. Shit like that. Exactly why I'm, I'm so upset. I have these people threatening not just me, but my kids' lives. And, like, I have not been noticed. I had no idea until yesterday, after I get through doing a live show and speaking about what I endured of uh, rape and assaults and beings through the foster care system. I'm being far further the minute I get that line with all of the shit. Okay, so, yeah, of course, and that's part of my confusion as you could hear too. Of course it's confusing because in a room it's all of these things. Because I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Andy would not do this. Like, me and Andy is cool and we don't have any problems. And she's never done anything to me. I've never done anything to her. So, yeah, that would make sense. And that's part of the reason I'm so upset. You know, call it abandonment issues or whatever, but when I feel like shit like that happens when I get so bonded and close to people, that's hurtful to me. So I'm like, well, wait, I've literally done nothing to make people have it that way. I, 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 I never started shaking my body. Even when people come to me and say, like, oh, maybe it's not a good look for you or whatever, and I'll go out, I'm like, excuse me, but, you know, Mandy is misunderstood. I love Mandy. Mandy's always been there for me. Mandy is a good friend. And I specifically say I will always be in her corner no matter what. So, yeah, it's all fucking confusing. I'm just as confused and hurt too. I didn't fucking do anything. I can't even listen to your messages, Mandy. I'm not even, I can't even, you know what? I'm not even gonna listen to them. You should just delete them. I'm not gonna listen to them because they're pissing me off. How dare you act like I did something wrong by fucking questioning you between you and Ernie? I thought we were good fucking friends. I have every way to question you. Why did my good friend start some fucking weird relationship with the person that's giving death threats to your fucking friend? Don't you dare try to say I'm the one doing something to you. And how dare I give you? I'm still fucking talking. Listen to this psychopath. So she just said, how dare you say that I'm doing something to you. So then why did you apologize? No. Or whatever, but when 